Hello and welcome to Cedar Valley Today's Web Update. I'm Ashley Davis. The Cedar Falls Historical Society has opened their 2014 exhibit before William Sturgis. Every year the Historical Society chooses an exhibit to show the history of the Cedar Valley. This year focuses on who first settled on the river in 1845. The exhibit is family friendly with different activities for the children to do. For more information, please go to www.warburgcircuit.org. They're an important family and figure in our history, but we don't often acknowledge or talk about the fact that there were many people living in this area before settlement. So this is a great opportunity for us to tell an often untold story about the Cedar Valley. And Waterloo East High School turned to the community to put some soul into their concert this past Thursday. Elizabeth Jewett tells us more. Waterloo East High Women of Tomorrow held their third annual Divine Divas of the Soul concert this Thursday evening. The program consisted of performances by influential women in the community involved in different areas of art. The Women of Tomorrow is a mentoring program focusing on empowering, inspiring, and motivating women of color to live up to their full potential. Students worked behind the scenes and presented awards to each performer thanking them for their services in the community. We do a lot of empowering ourselves and empowering our, how can we empower our school, be leaders in our community to anyone. The Women of Tomorrow Mentoring Program also offers scholarship opportunities and continues to inspire young women to further their education. Reporting for Cedar Valley Today, I'm Elizabeth Jewett. A Nashua native joined the Iowa National Guard 27 years ago. Cedar Valley Today spoke with the mom of this extra, er, extraordinary woman. Rachel Fales is now the first female National Guard officer in the state of Iowa. She's earned the position in part because of two overseas deployments. She's worked so hard for so many years. Every time there was a chance of an, another advancement in her rank or anything, she went to school right away. Rachel is now stationed at Camp Dodge in Des Moines. She currently holds the position of Command Sergeant Major for the Iowa National Guard. Some of her personal responsibilities include overseeing deployments and VAs, but the National Guard is responsible for many duties around Iowa. A, any kind of a, you know, uh, deal where you have floods or fires or anything like that, the National Guard goes. The National Guard serves both the state and federal governments but its main focus is protecting Iowa. Thanks again for watching the Cedar Valley Today web update. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Have a great day.